Hey guys, uh, how's everyone? I'm Dr. Ted. I'm a dentist here at the Heart of Coral Springs and I want to talk to you a little bit about the dental vibe. This video is for my colleagues. I want to make sure that if you have a dental vibe, you're using it properly and if you're thinking of getting a dental vibe, you want to make sure you use it the right way. Uh, I approached Vito, who many of you know Vito from the dental vibe, over at the dental conference and I asked him, hey Vito, uh, the dental vibe works sometimes, sometimes it doesn't. I mean, the, you know, what gives? And, and so at that moment, he raises two fingers and he goes, where are you putting the needle? And I go, I'm putting it right down the middle, you know, which is what everybody says. You know, if you ask other colleagues, you know, where are you putting the needle on the dental vibe? You think there's a prong here, there's a prong, I might as well just put it right down the middle. And it's actually the wrong place uh, to put the needle in. Because if you think about it, if you've got two prongs, that are vibrating, where do you think you're gonna get the most vibration? You're gonna get it nearest to those prongs. So in reality, when you're numbing the patient, you don't wanna be placing the needle right in between and the farthest away from the actual prongs. You wanna be between a millimeter or two, no more than three away from the vibrating prong because that's what's actually numbing the area. Because if you're down the middle, you're gonna be a little bit far from the area of action. The other thing is, I don't know if you've noticed this, uh, but the new tips, these are the flexi tips, they allow you to actually change the shape. So if you change the shape that way and you hold it for a few seconds, guess what it just happened? That just became taller. What can you do with something that's a little bit taller like that? You can give a mental block. So this is actually a great tool to give a mental block and one of the things that you're going to do when you place it, you're going to leave that vibration on for about 10 seconds. No matter what, when you utilize a dental vibe, you want to let it touch the area for at least 10 seconds. Give it 15. You know, what do you got to do? You got to make some coffee or something? No, you're there for your patient. Make sure you use it efficiently. Otherwise, you're just wasting your time, your money, and your tip uh, by just trying to rush through the numbing process. So think about it this way. When you place the dental vibe, and if you want to give it a little block, use the flexi tips to make it straighter so you can access the area. Apply it to the area where you're giving the, uh, the mental block. Use the dental vibe to reflect slightly, but light pressure. The lightest pressure you place, the more this is going to vibrate on the area. So if you just touch it slightly, try this on your fingers. If you touch it slightly, it's going to translate and transfer a lot of the vibration over to the area that you're trying to numb. Now, if I press hard, what's gonna happen? The vibe's gonna stop, right? If I press hard, what's gonna happen? You get less vibration. And if you press even harder, it stops. So lightest pressure possible, 10 seconds, then place your needle near the prong. Lightest pressure possible, 10 to 15 seconds, then place the needle near the actual two prongs. And you're gonna be efficient with giving comfortable injections to your patients. So here goes those tips. And you know what, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, also feel free to approach Vito at one of the dental conferences or feel free to message us. Thank you.